Hello guys, welcome back to my channel eStudy. Today we will learn one of the graph traversal algorithm which is depth first search algorithm. This algorithm is used for graph searching. For example, at a particular vertices, where shall we go next? If we look at this figure, suppose we are in, we are in vertex A. From A, we can move to vertex B as well as we can move to vertex C. However, where shall we go? So this is the problem. That's why there are some algorithm. Basically, there are two graph searching algorithm. One is called the depth first search algorithm and another is called breadth first search algorithm. However, in today's lecture, we'll discuss about depth first search algorithm for graph searching. So, let understand the depth first search algorithm main mechanism. So, this algorithm traverses the graph using recursions. That means it do some steps again and again. In the first steps go as far as possible along a single path until you reach a dead end. So we have to move as far as possible along a single path until we reach a dead end. So we must understand what is dead end. The dead end is there is no edge out. I mean in a vertex from where we cannot go anywhere. That means no out edge or there is some out edge. However, no neighbor unexplored. We have an out edge, but we already explored the neighbor. So in that case, we need to backtrack to the previous path and try the next branch. So let's start with this example. So in DFS, we can start from any vertex. However, uh, there is no natural ordering in DFS. However, to make it simple and easy, we will always start with alphabetical order or numerical order. Even we will move from one vertex to another vertex with alphabet alphabetical order or numerical order. So let's start with A. From A, we can move to B and C. So we should move B as B comes before C in alphabetic order. So we move to B. Now from B, we can move to D because there is only one directed path. So from D, there is only one directed path to E. So we can move to E. From E, there is only one directed path to B. However, this B is already explored. We explored the B V4. So no neighbor unexplored. So the vertex E is dead end. We cannot move further. So in that case, we need to backtrack to the previous path. So we'll backtrack to D from D and try the next branch. There is no other edge. So there is no branch. So we need to backtrack again to B. From B, there is no edge out. So we need to backtrack again to A. From A, now we can move to C. And then from C, we can move to E. However, the E is already explored. So no neighbor unexplored. Now, this ordering or the, this search order is the depth first search ordering. So I think you understand the depth first search ordering. So let's discuss about the timestamps of DFS algorithm. Timestamps mean when a specific vertex discovered and it finished. So we need to write the discovered time that is DU when you first discovered. U means a specific vertex. For example, B, when the B discovered, that is DU. And finish time, FU means when backtrack from U. I mean, when we backtrack from this vertices, that will be its finish time. So the discover time always less than the finish time. 
and this time will be increasing order and it starts from 1. So let us start with the writing time stamps. So we will start from vertex A. So we discovered this vertex at time 1. So we will write in the left side the discovered time and right side in finish time. Then we discovered the vertex P at time 2. From vertex B we discovered the vertex T at time 3. From D we discovered the vertex E at time 4. From E we cannot move further because we already discovered the vertex B so in that case E is dead end so we should backtrack from E to D. When we backtrack to D we finished it that's why we need to write the finish time which is consecutive numbers or consecutive time so 4 then the next number is 5. Now from D we cannot move further so we need to backtrack to B. So when we backtrack we should write the finish time which is 6. Now from B we cannot go anywhere so we need to backtrack to A. So the finish time will be 7. From A we can move to C. So we should not write the finish time here because we uh, we didn't finish the vertex A yet. We just discovered. So for C the discovered time is 7 and then the next number is 8. From C we cannot move further because the E is already discovered. So we need to finish C because we need to backtrack to A. So the finish time is 9. And in A now we can finish A because there is no edge out or no neighbor unexplored. So the finish time is 10. So this is the time stamps of its vertices in the depth first search graph. So I think you understand the DFS time stamps as well. So let's move another example to clear the DFS idea. So we need to find the visiting order as well as write the time stamps of the following two graphs. So here as we discussed before that we should start from alphabetic order or numeric order. So we will start from vertex 1. From 1 we can move to 6 and 5. Definitely we will move 5. So the order is 1 then 5. Now from 5 we can only move to 6. Now we can see that C is in deadlock state because we cannot move further. So we backtrack to B. From B we cannot move anywhere. So we, we need to backtrack to A. 1. So from 1 even we cannot move anywhere. So we are in deadlock situation. However, we should start again uh, because we need to finish all the vertices. So again we should start from the next uh, ver vertices in numeric order which is 2. From 2 we already move 5 and 6 explored so we cannot move anywhere. So we just visited 2 then we again start from 3. From 3 we can only visit to 4 because all the other vertices are already discovered. So this should be the discovered uh, I mean the visiting order for DFS in this example and if we write the timestamps so the discovered time for 1 is 1 and for 5 is 2 then we discovered 6 which is 3 and then backtrack from 6 so the finish time is 4 we backtrack from 5 so the finish time is 5 we finished in 1 because uh, we cannot move anywhere so the finish time is 6 then we start at 2 which discovered time is 7 and we finished here so the finish time is 8 and then we started again from 3 whose discovered time is the next time 8 then the 9 from 9 we discovered 4 at time 10 
and from four we cannot move anywhere so we need to backtrack to three so the finish time 11 and in three the finish time is 12. so the finish time and double among uh, based on the number of vertices so there are one two three four five and six six vertices so the finish time is 12. let's do the example for the second graph so we are in here so in discover time we discovered one at first and then we can move to either three five or two in numeric order we must go to two from two we can go only one way that is four from four we can go only one way that is seven now the seven is in deadlock situation because we cannot move further so we need to backtrack to four from four we cannot go anywhere so we need to backtrack to two from two we cannot go anywhere so we need to backtrack to one from one we can now move to five and three however in numeric order we should move three first so we will move three then from three there is only one path which is six from six we already discovered the seven so we cannot move further so we should backtrack to three from three we again backtrack to one from one we need to visit five so this is the visiting order in that case using the depth first search algorithm now if we write the timestamps in this graph so we discovered the vertex one first then we discovered two then we discovered four then we discovered seven at time four now from seven we cannot move anywhere so the finish time is five for four we cannot move anywhere so the finish time is six from two when we backtrack to two we cannot move anywhere so the finish time is seven from one we can move so it will not finish here so the discover time for three will be seven then the next number is eight from three we can move to six so the discover time will be nine from nine we cannot move anywhere so we need to be backtrack to three so the finish time will be ten from three we cannot move anywhere so we need to make backtrack to one so the finish time will be eleven from one we can move to five so we cannot write the finish time here we need to move five so the discover time here is 12 and from five we cannot move further because the vertex seven is already discovered so we need to backtrack to one so the finish time will be 13 then from one we cannot move anywhere so we will finish here which is 14 now the number of vertices are one two three four five six and seven so the total time stamps is 14 i think all of you understand clearly so you should pause the video right now and try yourself this example and please write your answer in the comment box i'll reply right away still if you have any question you can leave your question in the comment box i'll try my best to answer all of your queries Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like, comment and subscribe my channel.